Hey kids, it's your dad, back from abandoning you. A couple weeks ago, I asked you guys to remix my number one hit single. It's not number one, but you know, it was pretty good. I'm gonna be looking over some of those remixes and giving you advice on how to make your fucking beats sick and sexy as fuck. My hair is not pink anymore. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never- Jermunder Jer and, and G. Sad boy, sad boy, Hollywood star. Ain't got time for pain, cause I'm shining too hard. Bass bumping up so okay. loud. There we go. Out just because there we go. I got bored for a second, but you, you spiced it up. up the city with my friends and my side bitch. Okay, give me a drop. Give me a drop. What you got? Okay. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. I don't even know your fucking. Okay, Mr. Jermunder and G, I have a weird name too. Don't worry about that. Oh, fuck, my funny bone, holy shit. Holy fucking. You have the basics down of a hip hop beat, of a trap beat. You know, you got like the hip hop skeleton down, you got the sub bass, the snare, the kick, hi-hat, blah, blah, blah. So because you know that, the next step then needs to be creativity. For example, that synth that you had going on the whole song, it was like a very old school and plain sound. And even if you wanted to use that synth, I would have at least added some reverb and added some space to it because it sounded very one dimensional and very like, very like, sound like a Mario game. Like y'all, y'all even remember Mario? Only 90s kids would remember uh, Mario. The vocal mix could have been a lot better. The vocal sounded super, super plain. There was no spice to them. They were almost like kind of quiet. They, they had no, like, they did not pop out in front of the music. How you could improve that? Better EQing, better compressor, add some reverb, add some echo, like get freaky with it, you know? Like get spicy with it, bro. To summarize, it wasn't bad. It was a solid beat. Everything kind of seemed to work out fine. Just you're at a level where you can add creativity and spice to your tracks. Try to make it different. Try to work on the mixing. Okay, Ryan Coout. Hey bro, I've produced a beat, put a bit of flavor on the main vocals. Oh, you know I love my flavor. Mr. Trap Killer Beats, Ryan Kowalski. 10 points for creativity. The song is like a trap hip hop genre. You took it, you added this like, I don't know, you totally changed the style of the song, which is good. Creativity is always key. Take what you get, make something new with it. The mix was pretty good. It had a pretty full feel for it. Like it, it sounded surround sound. It did not sound like it was just coming from one angle in your face. It sounded like it was coming from here and over here. So in total, it was just like, coming at you like that everywhere. <laughs> my big, my biggest note for this song is this. It sounded like it was just building up and building up and rising tension. I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, what's gonna happen? But it never dropped, especially with the style of music that this is, it needed some kind of drop, some kind of explosion, some kind of ejaculation. And an easy fix for that honestly would have just been to have a steady hi-hat over the uh, chorus. Like you could just done hi-hat in eighth notes with the snare on every second quarter. Um, and that would have been good. And another way to make the drop more epic is like on the first note that hits, have the sub bass, have the kick. Like it felt like the song just kept building and building, but never gave you that reward. It's like having sex, but you never jizz, you know? And like that kind of sucks because then you got blue balls. It's like, yeah, I enjoyed the sex. Like I enjoyed the song, but like you gave me blue balls, bro. Next person, Isidro Santiago. This guy's actually, um, he's part of Music X, which if you guys don't know, that's my exclusive music community where aspiring producers help each other grow and we like give each other tracks, we give each other feedback. It's fucking lit. Isidro is a member of that. Shout out Isidro. Damn, this boy get me a whole fucking zip file. It's a logic file. Okay, this will be sick. Okay, Isidro, the strength of this song 
is the drum beat. You made a pretty cool drum loop. I like it a lot, actually. It's unique, it's like fun, it's very full. The weakness of the song is you didn't do shit to the vocals. And the mixing, like the panning and the mastering of the song, eh. So I'm just gonna show you real quick what a couple minor adjustments can do to your mix. Check this out. You DS'd it, put an EQ. Okay, this EQ, it's I, I'm gonna take off more, I'm gonna lower this a little bit, I'm gonna Make that higher. Okay, have it like that. They yelling, they screaming, they hate. Okay, already sounding like 10 times better, just doing a little bit better of an EQ job. Okay, and you routed this into a bus. Bus one has the reverb on it. They yelling, they screaming, they hate, they hate. Funny, I don't even know your fucking name. More, more reverb, just like that. Listen. They yelling, they screaming. Vocals pop way more. You know what? I'm already here, so why not? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna adjust some shit. <laughs> you gotta EQ your fucking piano, bro. Here's the thing about pianos. Pianos are super hard to find a good one, and the fucking logic ones suck dick. What's the what's that stupid saying? If you can't join them, beat them. If you can't beat them, join them. I don't fucking know. Boom. Low pass filter, cut out all the high end, gives it a totally different sound, kinda like that underwater shit. D sounds way good with more reverb on it. Listen to the song. They yelling, they screaming, they hate. Funny, I don't even know your fucking name. No, you keep it true, never will. I'm gonna add an imager. I just got this plugin called Ozone Imager. It's free, you can look it up if you want. They yelling, they screaming, they hate. I'm gonna EQ these, these balls, I mean these bells. <laughs> Yeah, here we go. This is sick. This thing's called Enigma. My favorite plugin, Mondo Mod. Okay, I just have to go on in this whole track now. I know I said I'm gonna change like one thing, but I, I have to like do a bunch of shit. Give me one sec. Dude, what is that sub bass, dude? Is that is that a fucking mouse? This is a mouse. I cannot even hear it, bro. Okay, bruh. I just went in, pimped your track. This is actually what I do on Music X. I know I'm talking about Music X a lot, but like I take your guys' tracks, fucking pimp them out and make it way better. I literally just spent like three minutes doing this right now. Um, let's let's see how it sounds. They yelling, they screaming, they hate. Funny, I don't even know your fucking name. Keep it trail, never will. See, bro, if you just add a little more creativity, add some reverb on some shit, add some delay on some shit, image certain things, it's gonna make your track sound way, way bigger. Since you already got the foundation down, a lot of you guys got the foundation, you just gotta get creative and say like, how can I make this track like, different. How can I make it sound bigger and shit? This is the last one I'm going to do for the video just because I got over 75 submissions from you guys. I won't be able to do everyone's unfortunately. But if you want me to do more of these in the future, let me know by hitting that like button. Last one is from Julian Galesi. Here's your remix, you small penis man. Thank you. Here you go. Tell me if you like it, little boy. Aria, Aria's sexuality is ambiguous. <laughs> Dot wave. Dot wave. I'm pausing. Even though this is a 40, it's 45 seconds in the intro and it's still building up, it's good because he just keeps adding variation. Adds another like flute thing going on. Adds another vocal track on top so it keeps it fresh and not repetitive. good that was really good dude honestly like that was good creativity 10 out of 10 
It's a completely different style. You made it like that EDM kind of shit going on. Vocal mixing is good. The mixing on the rest of the track was like pretty solid. Like there's a couple little things here and there, but all you need to know is like you're on the right track. Like that was fucking sick, bro. I think you need to use more like present day sounds. Like this, the flute synth and stuff was kind of whatever. And like, like this song sounded like it could have been made like 10 years ago and been in style. But now I feel like you need to see what what's the sounds that are in now. What kind of samples are in now in the whole like EDM genre. Like see what Flume and Odessa are doing the types of sound they use and replicate that. But honestly, that's such a small note. Overall, this song was like really, really good. I think you can go places and you should just keep going, bro. Like this is awesome. Alrighty, guys, that concludes this video. Thank you everybody who submitted their song. I will be doing more of these. Just let me know by hitting the like button and I'll do more of these like I said before. Shout out everyone who joined Music X. I'm glad you guys are liking it so far. And even if you're not, I'm always going to give up free content and good shit on my YouTube channel. Love you guys. Click subscribe. Click like, click Poppy Wolfie, stick. Talk to you soon. Bye.